Welcome to the play for Monday, April 15th. I'm Dave Morris alongside Nick Tragakis from the news desk of the Oklahoman. And Nick, uh, this is a look at some of the headlines that we'll have tomorrow for you and some sad headlines today. We'll start first with uh, Chad Perry, the uh, Oklahoma City police officer, passed away today. Uh, yes, he was in a wreck uh, in a van on I-40 on Sunday afternoon and was ejected from the van. Um, if you saw uh, images of the van, it was a horrible wreck. It was completely destroyed. Yes, and uh, he was taken to OU Medical Center. At noon today, they announced that he had died. His family said that they had uh, taken his organs to get for transplants and stuff like that. And so uh, it's actually a pretty, uh, you know, unfortunate, sad uh, ending for what kind of had been a rather hero heroic story for Chad Peary. He had stepped in on a bar fight and was paralyzed. Today we have uh, footage of the press conference from Captain Dexter Nelson from the police. You could tell he was pretty choked up about that as well. And that was one of the main storylines most of the day until the bombing in the Boston Marathon today. And of course the Oklahoma City Marathon is coming up uh, later this month and officials held a press conference to address the local situation. Yeah, there are a lot of connections between uh, the Boston Marathon. Uh, the Oklahoma City Marathon is a qualifier for it. People will run in Oklahoma City to try to achieve a certain time so that they can then go on and run in Boston the next year. And of course you look at the reason we have a marathon in Oklahoma City is because of the April 19th, 1995 bombing of the Federal Building downtown. Um, so there is a, a certain unsettling uh, you know, cycle here. Um, what uh, organizers said of our marathon, they held a press conference this afternoon and said that as of right now, Plans are to continue with the marathon. Um, they, of course, are monitoring what's happening in Boston. Uh, they said they're not afraid to cancel it if something comes up or they learn something um, that the safety of the organizers and runners and volunteers that would be in Oklahoma City, April 28th is the date of our marathon, uh, that, that, that the safety of those people would come first. Uh, so the plan right now, according to organizers of the marathon, is that it will go on as scheduled, but it is something we're they're monitoring and they'll make the right decision you know when the time comes one of the angles of this story the boston marathon website uh, listed over 80 uh, people who said oklahoma was their hometown so that's one of the angles we're following along with one final story al gerhardt has turned himself into authorities that's the sooner tea party co-founder charged last week with blackmailing a state senator via email yeah he turned himself into county authorities today and uh, he's said that he believes he's being unfairly targeted and that he had raised concerns about uh, a victory party that David Prater, our district attorney for Oklahoma County, had had, and that's the reason that he's being targeted by authorities. So those are three stories that we're uh, making headlines today, and we'll have more coverage of all three of those, of course, in the Oklahoma tomorrow, and continuing coverage can be found online at newsok.com. That's the play for Monday, April 15th. Have a safe evening, everyone.